Many of you guys know that I got my start on YouTube covering Starlink related news back in the better than nothing beta days. Dishy McFlatface has come a long way since then. And it's amazing how much the Starlink program has grown. It's also amazing the number of cottage industries created around Starlink. For example, I shared a video with you about Star Mount, which is a modified flat mount service. In fact, a Baja 1000 racer used this to live stream his race. And recently I learned about Internet Installers of Georgia. They are a professional Starlink installation service and they make it so that you don't have to worry about getting up on your roof and figuring out how to connect everything and install Starlink. And they're looking to expand their program so that if you're watching this in a different state, you could provide the same service so that more people are able to adopt this technology. The early adoption, we're all, my whole family's, you know, <laughs> as you know, <laughs> Tesla and Elon enthusiasts. So I think that was kind of came from that interest in, 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 our, in our own install. I think that's kind of what started it was having like being early adopters and going out and trying to put install it ourselves. We're like, well, this is actually not that intuitive and somebody might need help with this. And who does this? And turns out not many are. So it was, it was a good thing. So Steve told me a little bit, like very vaguely about what you do, but I'm curious to hear from you kind of, um, you know, your involvement with Starlink and yeah, like how, how you're helping people. Basically what we do for, with Starlink is we just install the, the sat, the antenna, right? The access into the home. So that's both putting this, the satellite roof or in the yard or on the side of the house, whatever the case may be, but then also the entry into the home. So the electronic piece of it into the, into the um, internet connection. So we're, we're the installer piece of it. So you can buy your Starlink from um, starlink.com and that's really how everybody does it. And then once you have your kit, you, you, you can either do it yourself or you can hire someone like us to help you with that. And it's not all that intuitive. You almost, most often would need someone to help you unless you're super savvy that way. Yeah, I was gonna say like, I, you know, I have a dish, but I've never had to mount it. And I've never heard of like anyone offering it as a service. So do you find that most people, is it just a convenience thing or they actually struggle to do it? I think they just don't know what they don't know. <laughs> So, you know, when you get your, say it's, you know, your dish network or whatever it is, your cable, there's always a, you know, you order it, but then there's an install. There's someone that would come out and, and help you with it anyway. It's rare that you would do that on your own. With Starlink, they've just, they divorced themselves of that piece of it. You get your kit. In fact, we won't even book the install until you have your kit. And the mount that goes with, you know, the, the dish or the satellite, also, you know, there's variations of that. You can have it on the side of your house. Like I said, in your, you can actually have it on a pole in your yard. So you can use the app to figure out where you want to have it or where the best signal is. But even from there, there's choices. So we help with, with what's the most aesthetically pleasing option for you. We've got a lot of homes that have, um, they're in the lakes or mountain regions and they have metal roofs to their houses. So they don't want to necessarily drill into the metal roof and compromise their you know, roof's warranty. So we talked to them about that and, you know, we don't really get involved in, you know, telling them what to do, but we definitely have a lot of advice. And I think that's really the, the piece of it that you, you really, you know, take for granted or you don't really know until you're in that position is having that consultation. Yeah. Are you guys focused mainly on Starlink or do you do other kinds of installs? Just Starlink. Okay. Only Starlink. And that's, you know, that's because of how, you know, the early adoption, we're all, my whole family's, you know, <laughs> as you know, <laughs> Tesla and Elon enthusiasts. So I think that was kind of came from that interest in, in, in our, in our own install. I think that's kind of what started it was having like being early adopters and going out and trying to put install it ourselves. We're like, well, this is actually not that intuitive and somebody might need help with this and who does this and turns out not many are. So it was, it was a good thing. That's how long, thing. yeah. How long have you been doing it? Not long, just a few months. So, but in that, you know, it's not entirely rolled out in Georgia either. I should have started with that. It's 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 definitely um, just getting off and there's satellites that are launched every day. So, or almost every day. So it's going to get there quickly. But even in the short time that we've been doing this, there's been a lot of interest, actually more than we even anticipated this early on. Yeah. And so um, Steve did tell me a little bit behind the scenes that you had to change your name. Do you want to talk <laughs> about that at all? Um, you know, sure. I, it, what was funny about that is it really started with just wanting to be as descriptive as possible with what we do. And all we do is Starlink. So it was natural that we would want to call, you know, put Starlink in our name so that we wouldn't court 
business that we didn't want to serve or couldn't serve. But I think the blessing is that we're pretty good at, I guess, SEO and getting our name out there because before you know it, um, renew it, we had a, not a cease and desist, that's a strong way of putting it, but a, um, a please don't use our name in your name. <laughs> wow. Go ahead and be an installer. We love what you're doing. It's fantastic. But yeah, just um, call yourself something other than Starlink. But you know, the, the thing is, is it's so early on that there's a lot of businesses out there using the Starlink name and it'll just be interesting to see. I think they're going to just trying to put a lid on that and, I, and you can see that you can understand why yeah. they do that but yeah no. but yeah yeah that's, that's rebrand quickly <laughs> wow no that's really interesting um it's yeah it's funny when spacex reaches out to you like we found some uh portions of the heat shield tiles after the first launch and i guess they reached out to my friend and they're like hey uh can we, we keep that <laughs> yeah can, well they actually let us because oh. i told them i was like hey just go on your phone find where you know the geolocation is and just send them where you found it and then that was it they didn't care but they just wanted to know where they you know they're trying to put together a, a puzzle of you know where exactly these tiles ended up um yeah. probably for data purposes so yeah he kept it which is amazing because it was like half of a whole heap tile wow um, but yeah you know play nice and you know maybe yeah it'll be okay <laughs> you don't yeah. expect to get that correspondence um so no, i was a little freaked out by it quite frankly i was like oh no you know you, you think yeah. you really think i've done something wrong and and truly you know it really is just business and it's trying to this is a big you know who knows where it's going to go and it's it's one of those things where even as a small business owner you you know you i'm marketing is my whole life I've been doing marketing for 30 years so i totally get the business behind the ask so it was fine but it was steve thought it was funny i think it, i think it's kind of funny but it is yeah. and it, you know i've been covering starlink stories since the beginning of the better than nothing beta days i haven't covered it so much recently but like how needed is it in georgia well that remains to be seen i think um you know, there's a lot of, there's, I don't know, more than a dozen giant lakes and there, you know, we have uh, lake houses, mountains, places where it, you know, classic internet is, you know, is not all that available and it's harder, it's harder for people to get good service. So I think the need is definitely there. Um, we've gotten calls from Tennessee, some from Florida, which we're currently not serving, but we have interest in, you know, obviously scaling. So um, the need, I think, I think is there for sure. And it's just really early in the game to see how much, but but we we, we love it. This is this is makes us you know, it's fun for us. Yeah. So the people that you're hiring, are you freelancing, or are they you know they have experience on a roof and they're just coming to work with you full time or what? Yeah. No, they're free. They're they're well, they're they're exclusive to us. They're not working with any other Starlink installers. But the goal is to have as many as we can get, because right now we, you know, we only have a handful. We only need a handful. You know, Georgia is a big state, can't have everybody everywhere. And as we grow, uh, we actually would love to talk to anybody who's looking to get into this because we can train. Our installers that we use right now are happy to install or train other installers and get that going. Yeah, and Steve kind of mentioned that, like, are you trying to help bring other people in other states into this sort of model? We would love to talk to them. I think wherever there's interest, we would we would be more than happy to, you know, I guess just share what we know and then see if there's interest in these other states. I mean, every state works a little bit differently and we're learning that too. Right. But um, certainly in the Southeast, we would be, you know, like I said, there's already interest. So it's a matter of, can we serve them? at the at the level that we are now where there's a lot of back and forth even before we you know drive out there and, and you know it's it's a lot of consultation with the homeowner trying to figure out if they have what they need right. figure out what we have what we need and then um just aligning with when it's available in their area yeah i think it's really interesting kind of the cottage industries that have been uh formulated around starlink i interviewed a guy who like rips apart starlinks and he mounts them so he makes like a flat mount what you're doing is also unique do you yeah. want to um maybe run through because so, for some people the, the hardware is very expensive so I'm, I'm curious you know how much you're charging people uh for this type of service yeah, well, we're we're really trying to stay within a flat rate because we're like with all the you know questions that you might have, let it not be price. Now we so our flat rate is four ninety nine, you know, 
and it's pretty affordable and it's what you might expect for because you know, like i said we're, it's not just mounting the unit it's drilling into the home sometimes and yeah. connecting it all and, and testing it and that you know can be about two hours two and a half hours of of our time or less but where it can go north of that is if it's a super complicated roof line and we're up on some you know four-story pitched roof that obviously makes things a little harder for us or if it's just a situation where we have to come out more than once for whatever reason sometimes the mount's not right we had one where the mount was actually not clearing the side of the house the way that it needed to so we had to get a whole new mount and that's you know that's that's not often that that happens so it's usually in that 499 price range and i know that spacex sells different mounts do you use their mounts or do you have some other sort of source for a cheaper mount we uh, there are cheaper mounts i think amazon sells them i mean it sounds like you know people that are actually creating their own i think that that too will be a solution that will scale right now we like the starlink mounts we feel like they're they're quality they obviously are made to do what they do so we're and there's there's a lot of them and there's more that are growing i mean there were some that we didn't even know about last week that were newly added so i think it's safe to use what's supposed to go <laughs> with the product yeah. but i you know think about all the different shapes of houses and you know areas you can be in you imagine yeah. it would be limitless i think the only thing i would really love to for your community who's obviously already interested in this is to just know that we love to share information so as we as it's evolving as we learn more we love to talk so even if it's that you're right through our Facebook page. We would love to share information. And if you're in another state and you're interested in doing this and it makes sense, we're looking at installers everywhere we can too. So it's installers of Georgia, but like, you know. Yeah. Thanks again for watching this video. If you enjoyed what you saw, make sure to give this video a like and subscribe to Ellie in Space. It's completely free and it helps the algorithm push my channel out to more people. So thank you and I'll see you in the next video.